is here to help you, the tools are here to help you, all the test cases, and good luck, because although fire itself is as straightforward as we can make it, health is mind-bendingly complicated. Yeah, I um, am two years into my fire journey, so this um, is a great question. I've been there recently, and I think that the most helpful for, thing for me was getting involved in work groups and coming to events like Dev Days and the Connectathons, um, where I could talk to experts, ask my questions, um, and really picking up some, some tasks from those work groups to get my feet wet. So my number one piece of advice would be to not be afraid to read the spec. Don't be afraid to open the build.fire.org and go through resources, go through the core concepts, the implementer's guide, and get familiar with using it. Get familiar with the differential table tab that I think every fire implementer uh, eventually memorizes. Um, and, and don't be afraid of the spec. My advice is that go for it because this is the right time and also be sure of the clinical problem you're trying to sort or improve and that will help you on that journey. Get involved. Um, for me, I always learn by doing. So I like to pick an area in whatever that I'm very passionate about so that I'll actually work on something and make something happen. So if you're interested in patient access and uh, that side, if you're interested in mental health or women's health, um, pick a project and scope it uh, very well, but use that to get engaged with the community, to find the people who are working on similar things, to learn about what tools are available and uh, go through, even if it's not a production thing, uh, at least you can go through and do the experiment and do the project and learn all about the community, the tooling and the specifications you need to enable other people. If you're a technical person, like a developer, I would say focus very much on the different data types in Fire and learn as much as you can about terminology. Once you have data types and terminology down, you're making a good start. Fire is a big subject by now. It's a huge spec. Uh, I would still start where we figured out you, you would start uh, at the beginning. That is our open servers. So we have working open servers to start your journey, try the, uh, the clients that we provide and some of the examples. That's what I would start out with.